Here's all the places that Aussie was. Sometimes when I'd go out and take out the trash or we'd come in, she'd want to come outside. And usually about the farthest she'd go is this hallway or down that hallway to the elevator. Usually when we'd come in, she'd be waiting right here by her food bowl or right up there where the rug was so she could watch us. Sometimes in the morning she'd come and wait right here while I got milk out of the refrigerator. But usually she didn't come into the kitchen. <laughs> she didn't spend much time around the tables, but sometimes she'd run around them when she wanted to hide from us or when she was playing. We got the CD rack and she loved to rub her face on it, especially while she was waiting for us to come out of the bedroom. She spent a lot of time on this rug. She'd sleep right here or right over there. Uh, she liked to play around these table legs to bat her mice around them. Right at the end of the pump organ, we'd have a cup of water for her to drink. For a while, we put a cup on top of the coffee table, but then Alan was worried we'd knock it over, so we put it down so she didn't have to jump up there. There was a short time where she'd sit on the couch. Mostly, she'd choose this cushion where Alan sat, but sometimes she'd choose this cushion. She'd also walk to this corner of the rug so she could get petted by me. At this corner of the rug, where there are still some traces of cat sand, we had her bag of toys. On this rug, you can see it gets a sunny spot, so she liked to lie here and sunbathe. She never did that in Brooklyn, but she did that since we moved here. There's still some traces of cat sand on the rug. Uh, she did try a few times to sit on the chair, but that didn't last very long. And uh, when she got had seizures, she ran and hid behind this chair and uh, tried to go to the bathroom. This is my desk, and she hardly ever went behind here, but there's a little pathway behind the couch, which sometimes when she was feisty, she'd run behind to come and sneak out over on this side. So this is the hallway, and usually it was filled with cat sand that I had to sweep every day because in the bathroom there was her cat box right here. And sometimes she'd lay on this rug while she was waiting for me to come out of the shower. Sometimes when the weather was hot she'd lay in the bathroom on this rug. In the bedroom, when she was feeling feisty and we were chasing her, she'd run down this pathway and she'd leap under here or beside here to sort of escape us. 
and she'd pop out on the other side. This is the chair that she'd use to hop up on the chest to get on the bed. Mostly she sat on this side, which is Alan's side. Sometimes she sat on this side, which is my side. But mostly we tried to push her to the middle so there was room for everyone. And sometimes, especially if there might be laundry on the bed, she'd curl up at this end. But usually it was at the bottom of the bed. Over here is my side of the bed, but she only went there once um, the day she first had her seizures. And here are the closets. And on this side, Alan has his musical instruments. But when we'd need to sort them or put them away in their cases and we'd take everything out, she'd run in to explore them. And that's most of the places that she'd go in the house. And now we have some memorial photos of her on the pump organ and some condolence cards for her passing away and then right up here on the bar we have our Tibetan prayer wheel which we just lit but when the flame starts going this will spin and say a prayer for Aussie.